Today we are looking at the Creative Live Cam Connect HD 1080p webcam. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. You have the software CD. This comes with all the bundled software that comes with this product. There are two quick start guides in varying different languages. Let's see, I don't know which one of those is English somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, the box itself, which is covered with adverts for what, what it can do and all the technology, and the webcam itself. Okay, so here is the webcam. It features tilting up and down. However, I should say it does not tilt left and right. I fix it to the screen. You undo the clip underneath like this. Pull it out. Clip it fastly over the top of the screen. And then push that bit in at the back so it'll hold on. There will be a gap between the back. But that's to adjust the different sized monitors. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you, I've had quite a lot of trouble trying to record a full video with this webcam. Uh, I'm getting lots of crashes of their Live Central 3 software. I mean, I, might, I could be able to use a different bit of software, but, but you know, when I'm reviewing the product, I really would like to be able to use their own software. So yeah, it's being a bit of a pain in the ass to me. So yeah, so I think I'm going to do most, most of it to here and we'll occasionally switch to the other one to have a look at it. Okay, so let's have a quick talk about some of the specs. It has a 5 megapixel sensor at 2592 by 1944, and this can be software enhanced up to 18 megapixels for photos. If you're the type of person who takes photos with your webcam, well, you might do. It has a full HD video support for 1080p, recording at 30 frames per second, so it claims. Not that you could tell on YouTube because YouTube defaults everything to 30 frames per second anyway. Uh, the lens focusing on it is auto. It has built-in dual stereo microphones and it has tilt with up and down. But I should add it doesn't go side to side like this unless you kind of twist your monitor. So yeah, you might want to do that. Now, the price of this, at least at the time of recording this video and the time of purchasing it was £79.99. And that's pretty much the most expensive consumer webcam or common consumer webcam that I could find. I mean, the only other things that would go against this is going to be the 1080p Microsoft. <sighs> Microsoft, no. So yeah, I wasn't going to get that. And the Logitech C920. So why are we paying so much extra for this webcam over the others? Because the others are at least uh, sort of 20 odd pounds less expensive. Or maybe, yeah, about 20 or so, like something like that. Uh, what are we paying for for that? Well, what you get with it is like a comprehensive software package. I'm not saying it's just, it's necessarily a decent software package, but you are getting a comprehensive software package. So that's their Live Central 3 software, which I'd say we're going to look at in a bit, but every time I've tried to show it, it it's crashed. So uh, yeah, we probably won't go through that, and I'll just explain the things you can do. We'll go back to that in a bit. But it has fast access facial recognition software, so you could just like your face and then log you into your computer. It sounds a bit gimmicky to me. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I just don't have a problem with doing this. So, it also comes with the GoTo camera software for monitoring, so you can like leave it and it will trigger it when it sees something. The only problem now is that their servers are completely down because the service is defunct, which is a problem. But you know, it's included in the bundle, so there we go. But let's talk more about the Live Three Central software. You can add like all kind of like little borders round it. You can add your own pictures. You can make yourself. A a cat and the mouth of it will move with you. They have this Crystal FX software pit that you can like change your voice to sound like random things. Like you can make yourself sound like a woman or make a woman sound like a man or sound like a robot and just a really deep voice and stuff like that. You can also put like hats on yourself. Anyone who's used Google Hangouts, uh, you can you have similar things on there where you can like randomly put a hat on yourself or a moustache and things like that. It might be good fun if you're like Skyping with some friends or something like that. But to be perfectly honest, it's not something that I'm particularly interested in. If you just want a webcam that's just a decent quality webcam, then I would probably look elsewhere. But we'll go more into that when we compare it with the Logitech C920. So the software also comes with your standard changing about your settings and all that. Uh, to make it brighter, darker, you got the auto zoom on it. And in fact, yeah, we'll now go to that and we'll have a look. And fingers crossed, it won't crash on me yet again because I'm getting really fed up of it. Okay. Okay, so here we are now using the webcam itself. Now I should say you can't really compare the image quality for what we had a second ago to this because that is the DSLR camera and with a 
with a good decent mic because this is the built-in dual stereo mic and just a normal 1080p webcam sensor so yeah now i've had quite a lot of trouble trying to use this software and having it crashing while i'm recording the video so i'm going to try and keep it quite short quite sweet and i can't i don't really want to be feeling about with the settings so i'm just going to explain to you the type of things you can do and to be honest if you've ever used kind of any software like this it's, it's pretty much the same there's nothing in my mind there's nothing really that innovative about it so yeah okay so some of the things that the software can do you've got your standard adjusting your image quality I mean you can you can it shoots in different resolutions so it can be 1080p 720 480 360 does it go live in 360 I don't know why would anyone do that okay so you've got your standard backlight adjustment brightness contrast color gamma I should say color spelt wrong as a you in color, don't you know? You can zoom it in and out if you like, and it also has autofocus, which I shall show you now. Focus on my hand. And to be honest, I, I do think that is quite impressive. It does focus quite well. I should say the auto zoom, not so much. It ends up going over here and over here. Like I say, it's like every time I try and do anything with this software, it keeps crashing. So yeah. But that could be something to do with me running Windows 8.1. I mean, every problem I have it tends to be something to do with me running Windows 8.1. There's a whole host of fun effects you can put on different filters you can put over it. it and you can, there's also voice filters, so you can make your voice sound like a robot. And there's a, there's a long list of things. But again, I, this is, honestly, I don't know how many, what take this is, but it's we're in double figures now. So yeah, I, yeah. There we go. So this is the image quality of the webcam. This room is reasonably well lit. I've got a window here, there's a window over there, and I've got two softbox lights that are on here. So yeah, I did notice at night time the image quality is not so good, and the video did start to get quite jerky. So it was all getting really, and I didn't really want to put that in the video. So yeah, I've reshot this so many times. And this is absolutely the last time I'm reshooting this video. If it doesn't work again, I'm just going to go. Yeah, and throw it away. So yeah, I don't really have much more to say on this. I mean, you see for yourself, this is the image quality, and this is the audio quality of the mics. Yeah, you can make up your own mind if you think it's worth it. So, uh, in the future, I will be comparing my Creative Live Cam Connect HD 1080p webcam with Ali Cat, who does lots of behind the scenes stuff on Zoe's Tech. And uh, she has the Logitech C920, and we will be doing a comparison video of that when we, yeah, when we get the time, we will do that. It's quite difficult because she's somewhere else around here. So, yeah, we'll be doing that sometime. We'll be comparing those two. I should say this software does give you the ability to upload directly to YouTube and to like, Facebook and lots of other services like that. So, if you're like a video blogger, then maybe that's quite good for that. Although, once again, this has crashed on me so many times that I really, I could not recommend using something like this. I'd just be, yeah, I don't know, I'd rather use like Open Broadcaster or just anything else other than this. I mean, there must be other software out there. I mean, I'm not much of a webcam user. To be honest, this is the first webcam I've had in a, like since about 2003 or so. So, yeah, there we go. I'm not, Maybe I'm not an expert on it, but... Once again, you can see the quality, you can make up your own man. mind, you don't need me to tell you. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you. I'm sorry I didn't get to show more of the webcam footage. Honestly, it has crashed on me so many times that like I'm just going, I'm going crazy. So yeah, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, Let me know in the comments, what do you think of webcams of this price? Would you Do you think it's worth paying that extra money to have a webcam that's like completely fully featured with all the software? Or would you rather pay like less for a decent quality webcam that is just a camera that's going to do the same thing just without all these bells and whistles that come with this one? I'd be interested to know. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, I will see you next time.